Well, I got a new phone and uh, it is time to talk about installing Lineage once again. And I'm going to actually cut the intro and the outro footage just on this new phone after the Lineage build is done. I want to see how good it does. So this is a Razer Phone 2. And I uh, usually don't buy phones this large, but it was a really good deal. And since I'm using a lot of my phone these days for filming for my travel channel, this camera was way better than the other one. So let me know how this looks. And also I'm using the audio just off of this instead of an external microphone. Because, yeah, lacking microphone jack. I decided to compromise on this one. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to wipe Google off of this and put Lineage on it. So we're going to start by going to the Lineage website, lineageos.org, hit the downloads button, and then you're going to find your devices. So you can pull the list over there if you're on a phone or on a thin screen like I am, or you uh, can just find the list there if you're on a large size. Now I already went for the build, so this one is called Aura. Each one of these builds for Lineage is going to have your... Um, your files it's going to have a recovery image we have recent changes device info and installation instructions now for the most part installing an android phone device is going to be very similar but you do want to make sure that you read through the instructions a few times make sure everything is installed so we started here by installing on arch android dash tools to get adb and fastboot check your linux distribution if you need help getting those two packages installed we need to enable android um, usb debugging on the device now i've already done that for some initial tests here i'm going to walk through how to do that pull up your settings on your phone and what you're going to do with settings on your phone here is go on down to system advanced uh, it's about phone here go down to build number and you're going to tap build number a series of times and then after about five or six times it's going to pop up a sign here press number of times to become a developer you can see right now it says no need you are already a developer so basically it's going to press on that until it says you are now a developer back up and then this unlocks this developer options right here we're going to pull this up now i turned on stay awake here for the purpose of the video just to make sure the thing doesn't shut down you might want to do that anyway just in case you just don't want the thing shutting down while you're in the process of getting in here doing this um now this phone here I'm guessing the previous owner probably ran Lineage on it because the bootloader is already unlocked. There's really no reason to do that. So um, this guy here would allow the, um, the unlocker. So you're going to want to toggle that guy over. And then you want to enable USB debugging. Then when you plug the phone in and attempt to do something, then you're going to, um, you're going to get a pop-up asking you if you would like to proceed. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and walk through our basic steps. So make sure everything is there. Now, the bootloader is already unlocked, but I'm going to walk through the steps anyway just to show you how to do it. So we're just going to go in. Now, you'll notice on my Arch build here that I dropped to um, sudo user. I just typed in su, hit enter, enter my password. Uh, what I found is on Arch... I can't seem to use ADB or fastboot without pseudo privileges and to avoid having to type in sudo all the time, I'm going to go ahead and um, just drop to just drop to root. And then I went into the directory on the system which has my two files in it. So we're gonna do an ADB reboot bootloader. And then you'll see that the phone jumps off and it's going to boot, boot into your boat bootloader mode. As soon as we see something on the screen, this is putting us into the bootloader mode. We can verify by typing in fast boot devices. So you can see we have a device listed. That would be our phone. And then if you do fast boot, flashing, unlock. It notes that I get uh, failed devices already unlocked. If it's not, then you will have 
uh, you will be able to unlock the device. Note that will wipe the device. So make sure that you are not doing um, that unless you have everything backed up. Now we need to download the recovery. You used to do this with uh, Torp, but now apparently Lineage has its own recovery. This is the first time I'm using the Lineage recovery, so we'll see what happens. So we're going to connect the device to the PC, and then we're going to reboot the bootloader. We're already in the bootloader right now, so we don't need to do that again. You can also boot into fast mode with a key combination, volume down and power. Once it, the device is in fast boot mode, verify that your computer finds it. So let's go ahead and just do that one more time for the case of um, verification. So there we are, we have our device. Um, so if you don't get any response or you get some type of error, then um, something is not right. Either your phone's not on USB, um, you might not have permissions to run fast boot. So see, check with your screen to see what your uh, issue is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flash the recovery image. So we're going to do fast boot, flash boot. There we are. Now that should work. There you go. It is sending the file. It went ahead and sent the file. So now it is going to... Um, Put this on. This almost looks like it's a temporary recovery. So again, I have not used this particular one on Lineage before. So okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, now we're going to, with the device powered off, hold volume up and power. So let's go ahead and power off the device. So we're just going to go find the buttons. I'm going to try not to hit the wrong buttons because the button configurations are in a slightly different order than they were on my other device. All right. So now what we're going to do is hold the volume up and the power once it is off it should shut itself down here in a second okay so um we went back into the bootloader where we were and then i just went down and manually selected recovery mode so now we have reboot system we have apply update we have factory reset and we have advanced all right so the instructions are telling us here we need to type factory reset let's go ahead and do that and then it's telling us to hit format data factory reset. So go ahead and hit that and then go down and format data. We get a little notification at the bottom of the screen and then this is going. So remove encryption, it deletes all the files and it will format the cache partition if you have one. We're gonna to return to the main menu. I think I can tap this, woohoo, I can. Look at that. Um, and then once we return to the main menu, we're going to sideload it. We're going to hit apply update. And then we're going to apply from ADB. All right. Now it's telling me it's unable to open the device on the computer screen. So we need to figure out what is up with that. Let me look at um, fast boot devices. So it's not giving me the ability to actually get into the device. Uh, let's go ahead and just try and run the command. So we're going to do ADB sideload. And then we're going to run the zip file. And it is actually serving the file. So even though it's telling me it can't find the device on the, on the computer, it is actually still sending the file. Now at this point here, it tells us that we may see it stop at 47%, um, but they said let it go and it should actually be good. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this guy go and see what happens. So it's verifying the package update. My computer did stop at 47%. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy finish what it's doing down here. So as long as the phone tells me we're fine, I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore what the computer is telling me. Okay, so while the computer did say 47%, ADB failed to read command, success. Uh, that's exactly what the computer tells us we might see here in the instructions. The phone did say everything worked good. And so at this point in time, once we've sideloaded it, we have run it. Um, it says optionally we can add anything else. This would be if you want to do micro G apps or something like that, which 
Um, no, the whole purpose of running Lineage is to not have G apps. So no thank you, I will not be doing that. But we're going to proceed once you've installed everything. Click the back arrow and then reboot the system now. So click the back arrow and then reboot system now. And now we should have Lineage installed. I'm very saddened that we lose the amazing Razer boot up animation. But um, being said, I only boot up the phone a couple times. Yeah, don't really care. But there we have it. We have Lineage. Now we need to hit Start. United States. Uh, date and time. So Eastern, 316, 1032. That all looks good to me. Hit next, we're going to skip, uh, turn on cellular data, sure, let's turn on cellular data, this is my Mint Mobile, you can uh, check out my affiliate link, tlm.li forward slash mm, it's giving it a second to provision itself, okay, do we want, uh, allow apps that have asked your permission, nope, no location services for me, uh, sorry, Lineage, I will contribute by doing cool videos on YouTube. Uh, no fingerprints for you. Uh, yes, we will enter a pin or a pattern or a password that you can't see. <laughs> uh, restore apps and data. Um, huh, well, maybe I could have actually brought in stuff from my last phone, but eh, why bother? Won't take me too long. All right, so there we have it. Um, I'm also saddened that I lost my cool um, Razer fonts and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Now let's go ahead and let's see. There's Discover Trust. Got it. Sure. Don't tell me that again. And now we're bound to pretty much nothing. So now it's time for me to go ahead and do a few extra little steps. We're going to install some apps. We're going to take some stuff off. And um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take care of that um, off video here. So this is how you get a phone up there working just fine. So here's what we got. All right, hopefully this video helped you out to figure out how to get Lineage installed on your device. Uh, from this here, I'm going to look at the apps. I'm probably going to remove a few of them. I'm going to add uh, F-Droid just to add a bunch of stuff. And then I usually take F-Droid off when I'm done. Install the Lineage on the phone. And on our final phone build, I'll show you right here what we're looking at. So what we have here is with all the apps, I generally don't use apps. I have some NextCloud connections core to manage my um, my Kodi box and then we'll also be looking at uh, using uh, Kodi on here that's not something I'm going to do long term I just put that on there staging it for the Kodi tutorial series I have attached Tor and some of the browsers use Tor some of them do not so Firefox Focus or this is Firefox Clar which is basically the same thing as Firefox Focus this one is a little bit slower to load because uh, this one is running through the Tor network and uh, right now we're going to do a tour check and since I'm on a Canadian tour node, it's defaulting me to French go, you know uh, But what we can see here when this loads up is the green indicator there that says that you are connected to tour It tells you what your IP address is Now I use Firefox when I don't want tour and consequently it rarely ever gets used uh, But I do um, want to get it all set up and I'll manage all this uh, setting up the configuration a little bit later what we're going to do here is we're going to do a tour check on this one as well. And what we're going to notice is it loads quicker. You can see because it's not using Tor, it's using my cellular network. But you'll see that this one here says Tor is not accessible. Why do I do this? Well, sometimes I don't want to use Tor and most of the time I do. So my default web browsers uh, will use Tor. So I use Ungoogle Chromium on Tor. I use Firefox Clar on Tor. I have the Tor browser, which can use different Tor nodes, and I have Firefox for non-Tor uh, connections as well. I was going to use Brave also for non-Tor connections, but Brave was annoying and started giving us all sorts of stupid pop-ups, so I deleted it. Sorry, Brave. When you stop being a notification whore, I'll maybe install it. I use the basic free book reader app for reading books. I know some people have asked about that. Uh, this is available on F-Droid. All these apps, by the way, are on F-Droid with the exception of the, the Tor browser bundle and the uh, Orbot. Those are available directly from torproject.org. 
Everything else is downloaded from um, F-Droid. I usually install the F-Droid app and throw a bunch of things on there, and then I remove the F-Droid app. I will go through and manage them later. This is for Bible reading here. This is just the AND Bible. I think they changed the name to something else, but it's by the same group. Um, I initially did not like this, this build, but I actually found out after using it for a couple days that it's actually way better than the older version. I think I was just being saucy because it couldn't transfer my whole library over. I had to transfer my um, my sword module library over, and uh, but once I did that, it worked perfectly fine. So, okay, that aside, I end up having a better experience with that than I thought, and it's way, way easier to use and figure out and uh, get everything set up where you need it to go. As far as the other apps, I don't, as I said, don't generally use many apps. This is the um, OSM and which is the open source map reader based on uh, open street maps. You can download um, the individual maps to where you're at. And generally, if I'm going to be in a particular state for a long period of time, I download the maps for it um, because they are very detailed. So you'll see the green ones there. I've actually downloaded the maps. So uh, there is basically what the phone looks like. Uh, overall, I really like this build. Um, it lacks uh, functionality to use the really cool RGB uh, Razer logo on the back of the phone, but that was just basic bling. Oh well. Anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed this one. And it really installing Lineage on a phone is really easy, uh, but some phones make it easier than others. This particular phone, I think the previous people might have used Lineage. There's really no other reason that the bootloader was unlocked when I bought it. Um, but uh, it was bought, purchased from a reputable place as well. So uh, that's something to keep in mind uh, as far as the, the locals where I bought it from. But anyway, um, there is how you can install Lineage. And just go ahead and have a look at what phone you have to see if uh, Lineage has it. And note that the instructions are going to be slightly different for your device. I find, though, the instructions on the Lineage page are very good and very easy to do. So with that, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.